Hello, and welcome to episode 6 of Will It Forge. This time, I gave my nephew a few choices for what to do next. I'm always open to suggestions and questions. I have some suggestions from the laser forums, too, so I'm working on a list of material to try out for your enjoyment. If you are following, don't be surprised if you get a message asking for a pick on a future video. This time, the choice came back with aluminum. I happen to have these beautiful anodized aluminum cards from the Ring Lord. I put their link in the description. They are great people for ring and scale mail supplies, jewelry supplies, tags, blanks, pendants, and so much more. Naturally, you can get blanks like anything else at Amazon. I've thrown some of those links in the description too. For images, I hopped over to publicdomainvectors.com. Because there are no licensing concerns, they are the first people I check for an image to engrave. I picked this hedgehog, owl, cat, and jerboa. They get the fun of going with my blue, green, purple, and red anodized aluminum cards. For additional fun, I threw another camera in the laser with my GoPro so that I could get multiple angles. I'm really hoping to get a few nice multi-angle views. Something else new in this video is that I had some bloopers that I've thrown in their own video that I will link near the end of this one. More on that later. A fairly recent upgrade to the laser software allows for the automatic measurement of materials. I absolutely love this feature, it is the best thing since the last feature, and will be the best thing until the next feature they release. This seems like a perfect time for a lesson and a safety tip. That's right. For some of these cards, I have had to enter the material thickness manually because a card we can clearly see is invisible to the measurement laser. My first mistake was guessing the thickness rather than grabbing my digital calipers. The measurement feature has made me a little lazy. There are many times a defocused laser can have some really nice results. Aluminum isn't really one of those. That mistake will be in the bloopers video along with a few others. You'll have to watch that video to see them all. That does get me set up though to start testing these burns and giving you some results.
And there we have it. Anodized aluminum at least will forge. Depending on the settings, you can even get some very good results. Check out the blooper video linked here for the stuff that didn't go as well and mistakes I made. Probably no audio outtakes there, but it definitely shows me messing up. Thanks again for watching. If I have kept you entertained, throw a like or a comment out there. Ask a question. If you're feeling really crazy, subscribe and hit the bell. It takes some time to make these videos so I won't be blowing up your feed. That will just keep you informed of the next time I'm back to answer the question, Will it forge?